from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for May 20th, 2016. In just a moment, we're going to be taking a look at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days in the live trade room. First off, starting here on the GBP USD, Great British Pound versus the US dollar. Yesterday, we saw the market rallying higher into the 1.4600 level, the pink shaded area that's up here at the very top of the chart. And I made note yesterday during the trade doom that is if it stayed within and under that pink zone, specifically getting underneath it and underneath the 4600 level, we might look for an opportunity to go short and sell this currency pair. So as you look down here at the very bottom of the chart, you can see that I am in a short from the 1.4600 level. Uh, the current market is sitting right around 1.4560. So we're sitting about 40 pips of profit on the trade. Saw a few more pips a few minutes ago as it bit, dipped back down here towards the 45.50 level. But all in all, the opening close underneath the pink zone was what we were looking for in the trade room. An opportunity to go short there on a hold of resistance and target back down here towards the orange shaded area for our first initial target. If it reaches there in the next few minutes or today, we'll look for opportunity to close some of the profit on the trade. If the market becomes significantly bearish and pushes back under the orange zone, 45 15 or so we'll look for continued profit as we look for it to continue to fall maybe all the way back down towards the 4400 level in the blue shade area at the bottom of the chart the risk at this point is no risk we have locked in uh, with profit at five pips of profit because of the the market moved above 40 pips of profit so we're locked in can't lose on the trade uh, if it rallies back to the pink zone I'd be cautious about getting back into it with the bullish momentum we saw earlier on the week but uh, this was a, a decent opportunity here just to take some short pips on the way back down moving over to the NZD USD New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar here on this currency pair it's been kind of a, a a waiting period here for this currency pair. We were looking for going short into the pink shaded area. We saw the market push underneath the historical supports here, right around the 67.45 level, pushed underneath it, settled out underneath there as resistance. So we took a short and uh, so far, since taking that, it hasn't really done a lot. It's just kind of drifted back up in towards the 67. 65 or so level coming very close to our stop loss but uh, we were able to stay with it currently sitting negative 17 pips definitely would like to see this become bearish again pushing back underneath the pink zone 6745 and targeting right now back down towards the yellow shaded area we know what the risk is the risk in this case is that it breaks back above the pink zone so hopefully we'll see the market become more bearish again and we'll see it push back underneath the pink shaded area. Okay, moving on over to the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar. Of course, over the past several days, I've been holding into a, a short trade here, locking in and closing profit all the way down in towards the 7200 level. But I think today we have another opportunity either to add on to the trade or or add back on to the position or uh, get into a new position if you haven't done that already. We clearly can see that this currency pair has been in a downtrend momentum over the past several weeks, uh, falling from the highs up there into the 7800s, now down here into the 7200s. That's the direction we want to focus on. There's no reason to change our mind about that direction until something changes. The pattern of the trend starts to create higher highs and higher lows. That's the only reason we would look to change it. Now, we don't want to sell it or don't want to go short at the very bottom of the trend. That's never a good idea. We know that there is support down here at the very bottom into the orange shaded area. So we don't want to go short there. So when do we go short? Well, often we're going to look to go short on a rally into the resistance, which right now will be our yellow shaded area. Zoom it in again here on the daily time frame. You can see the support back here. We know support helps us identify resistance in yesterday and today. Now finding resistance right around the 7245 level, the bottom of that yellow shaded area. Of course, the target is the orange zone or lower if it can break through that orange zone and continue to be bearish. We'll look for it all the way back down there into the, seven, the 7100 level at the very bottom of the chart. We've taken a number of Fibonacci levels here on the chart, but I think all in all, we're looking at this yellow zone as the resistance for the day today. If we take it on down to the four hour time frame, really just gives a, a, a zoomed in view of all of that. I'm going to leave it zoomed in like this because we know what the risk is. The risk in the scenarios, if it breaks back above the yellow zone, we probably wouldn't want to stay in a short very long. So any rally towards the yellow zone, we're talking 72.45, 72.50 uh, even, any rally into that becomes an opportunity to go short. 
hopefully we haven't already missed it. We can see the previous four hour candle touching there into 72.45. If we've already missed it, it may just go on down without us. Uh, but I'm hoping that we'll see another bump there into the yellow shaded area and give us another opportunity to jump into this and target back down towards the orange shaded area. If it just goes down without us, we'll have to wait for next week for a new opportunity. Uh, I don't think that this is a good opportunity to go long. Uh, there's no reason to buy this currency pair. Uh, the only reason maybe is if it breaks above the yellow shaded area, but at least at this point, uh, it's a short currency pair. We look to sell the yellow zone, target the orange zone or lower, uh, and no reason to go long at the current moment for the Australian dollar. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.